Hey too, I'm back this time with a massive Bath & Body Works haul. Honestly, even with SAS and Body Care Day considered, I don't know that I've done a Bath & Body Works haul this huge in, I mean, literal years. So I have 36 items. Granted, much of this is things that I have said that I've wanted to hoard. I finally just kind of have it all put together because I made one online purchase and I went to the store three times throughout the throughout the span of like late March to today, which is April 13th. So today, now that I finally have everything kind of put together, I wanted to share with you the kinds of things that I have said uh, that I was going to hoard um, from late winter to now. And I just want to share with you the things I'm loving at Bath and Body Works. So um, yeah, I don't know that I have any chit chat. So I'm finding that honestly, this is the best lighting I've gotten in this room in a long time. I'm filming at a different time of day. It is Saturday, April 13th. So because I'm home during the day, that might be it. But anyway, maybe I'll just have to do that moving forward. But I think that, you know, like I said, this is the best quality and lighting I've gotten in this room, at least at this angle in quite a while. So I may have to uh, move forward with that. So it uh, been a great day. Today's actually my birthday. So again, this April 13th, I'm 34 years old today. And I uh, celebrated this morning by doing some sunrise maternity pictures. So it's been a really fun day. And so I wanted to kind of keep that train rolling with a really good Bath and Body Works haul for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. So um, as I mentioned, again, like late winter into spring, I saw that bourbon strawberry vanilla was coming back and I mentioned that I was going to hoard it. And so I did. So um, just so you know, this is the fine fragrance mist. I'm kind of like whatever on like textured packaging. I mean, it's nice, but I don't really care to pay more just to have it. Um, so yeah, this is going for $18.95. So if you paid retail for this, which like, why? But if you did, it was it's $18.95. So bourbon strawberry vanilla, the fragrance notes are bourbon vanilla, garden strawberry, apricot nectar, pink jasmine, and white oak. Maybe those notes have changed a tiny bit, but if they have, it really hasn't been by much. So again, I picked up one of these. I really love it. It is marketed as a spring to summer transition, but I actually really love it in the fall. Specifically, I love bourbon strawberry vanilla for September. I love that kind of spiced strawberry or spiced berry scent because I'm not a pumpkin spice person. I really like this for that kind of transitional time with weather. So again, bourbon strawberry vanilla, this originally came out in 2015 and I've had it for years. I would go on to eBay or whatever to buy this for like kind of a lot. So that's why I decided to hoard it because it finally, finally came back. So I picked up one, two, three, I'm, I'm telling you, four, uh, five and six. So like, I'm good with the six. I'm sure the people in the store were like, who is this woman? Um, but I picked them up when I think fine fragrance mists were something like $4.95, something very heavily discounted. So I wanted to go in and do my hoarding then. So even though this haul is a little bit wild, it is also very calculated too. So that's why it took me a while to kind of put it together because I knew that because I'd be buying a lot of products, I just wanted to make sure I got the best deal possible. So yeah, I think I paid about $4.95, something like that for each of these fine fragrance mists and they'll last me about a month. So um, I use up one a year. I don't pressure myself to use up a whole bunch just in a year. So I'll have these for several years to come. And yeah, I'm just really excited that it came back. So again, I have the six fine fragrance mists. I also have the six shower gels. This also has this kind of um, quilted or diamond texture to it. The shower gels, $16.95, holy moly. I mean, whatever, like I said, I definitely would not ever pay full price for it. Um, like when it's back in store, $16.95. God, that's so much for this. But yeah, I picked up one, two, three, 
four, five, and six. So I do like my trios to match. Generally speaking, I am definitely that person. So I want to make sure that my numbers line up. But yeah, again, bourbon, strawberry, vanilla, smell it for yourself. I feel like strawberry can either be really nicely done or like kind of trash. So personally, clearly, I obviously love bourbon, strawberry, vanilla. It is so good. It's definitely sweet, perfumey, fakey-ish, I guess, but I think it is a really nice fragrance, so clearly I love it. So I have my fine fragrance mist, I've got my shower gels, and I also picked up some lotions. I decided not to pick up body creams um, just because, you know, they have a shorter shelf life. So I did pick up lotions instead. So I've got one, two, three, and four and five. So even though I like my numbers to match, I picked up five lotions because I do still have one more bourbon, strawberry, vanilla lotion in the original packaging in my collection. So all up, I do have six. It's just that I hauled five so that I have my, or my numbers will be even. So the lotions are retailing, yeah, for $16.95. I just can't believe those prices. I mean, actually, I guess I could, but <laughs> I don't know. It just seems so exorbitant for you know, body care products, but I am excited to have that back again. It's such a unique, excellent fragrance from Bath and Body Works. Very glad that it came back. Even though for me, it's out of season, I can totally appreciate it. Okay, so that is my bourbon strawberry vanilla. Like I said, I'll use up one trio a year. So you will see for several years um, that be in my empties. Now let's move on to another scent I was really excited to see come back. And... Yeah, I hoarded it a little bit, but definitely not to the extent of bourbon, strawberry, vanilla. So the other scent that I hoarded is iced lemon pound cake. I picked up a couple of shower gels in this last summer, and I really regretted not picking up more. So I said to myself that I would pick up more, and I would also pick up more products in iced lemon pound cake this year. So the keynotes are sugary glazed icing pure lemon zest and fluffy pound cake. So, I mean, the packaging I think is nice. You know, I like it when it makes sense with the product, at least it, you know, it's got cupcakes, it has uh, lemons, so can't really complain about that, ice lemon pound cake. And it is so good. To me, it smells like something that is uncooked, like a lemon bar. Um, but yeah, so I picked up three shower gels. Again, I didn't go too insane with this one just because it's been years and years and years that I've been longing for bourbon, strawberry, vanilla, but I did want to pick up several. I also picked up two lotions and ice lemon pound cake. So if you guys have been with my channel for a while, you know that it takes a lot for me to want to pick up a moisturizer just because... I'm going through them quickly right now just because of my belly, but generally speaking, they take me the longest to get through, so I do try to be conservative with my moisturizers, but again, because I wanted trios, I did go ahead and pick up two. I picked up three shower gels because I go through them much more quickly, um, but yeah, I did want to pick up some lotions too. So I ordered these particular ones online. There was some kind of situation with how my... I think I did like a buy three, get three. I don't know. I'd have to check my email because you don't get packing slips anymore. Um, so the way that my buy three, get three worked out just with other fragrances and because there was a sale on minis, I think it was like $2.95 or something that same day, I actually wound up getting mini fine fragrance mist rather than the full size ones because it was cheaper for me to do that. So I wound up picking up six of these mini fine fragrance mists and ice lemon pound cakes. So I know that seems like kind of ridiculous in the sense that I got several minis, but I don't really mind that. And in fact, I think it's kind of a good thing because I can have the freedom also to decide in a month, like, oh, I'll just use up like one or two of these. I'll use up some other mini that I have and then save the rest. So it kind of gives me that freedom to um, kind of pick and choose multiple fragrances within a month. And I still have the product that I want. So that is it for my hoarding of different fragrances. Now let's get into some other items that I wanted to pick up either online or in store just because I've been wanting them lately. So um, I think... Actually, yeah, all six of these were online. So I picked up a 
what they're not calling now calling a body wash so not a shower gel anymore but a body wash in apples so these are in store but i decided to just pick it up online so there aren't any notes it just says apple on it and i'm glad that i picked it up but i'm all right with the fact that i only picked up one it smells like apple shampoo like to me, it's not quite as harsh and in your face as country apple. It's kind of like in that realm. I'd say it's fairly similar to Beautiful Day, but yeah, it just smells like a green apple shampoo to me. So again, I'm glad that I picked it up, but I'm also all right with the fact that I only picked up one. So I figure if I use it up and I'm really dying to have more, I can get it from SAS or whatever, but I did want to try it out. Um, because I hadn't been in store for a little while, so I just bought it online. The next one I picked up, I think is an online exclusive. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. This is the Rio Pineapple Mango. I don't know that I've ever seen Pineapple Mango come out in body care. And by, and by that, I mean a body wash, a moisturizer, or a fine fragrance mist. So I picked up in a shower gel, or a, excuse me, a body wash. I guess I'll have to get used to saying that. The keynotes are fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripe and raspberry. That is the notes that we've seen on pineapple mango for a long time. So um, let's see. It smells. Yeah, it smells like pineapple mango. I feel like maybe it'll be different in the shower, but at least right this second. I feel like it smells maybe slightly more body care than the pocket backs for the lotions. Again, don't quote me on that. It could just be my notes right this second. But I don't know. We'll see. So I'll see this summer if it is different or the same. But I wanted to pick it up because I like pineapple mango in most forms. The pocket pack kind of gives me the icks. And I can't really explain why. But it just does. But I do enjoy home fragrance and um, uh, hand soaps in pineapple mango. So I wanted to pick one up. All right, so the next two that I picked up are online exclusives. Exclusives, They are Pretty as a Peach. Now, the weird thing is that I have a body wash in Pretty as a Peach and also a shower gel in Pretty as a Peach. So same packaging. Um, and they are the same keynotes, but they're different prices. So the body wash is $14.95. And the shower gel is $13.50. My guess is that, I mean, this is probably older. This is from um, about SAS-ish of last year, a little bit after that. And this is from, yeah, this was made at the end of last year. So this one is older. This one is newer. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing they're just fully making a transition from calling it shower gel to body wash and then raising the price, obviously, because it's Bath and Body Works. Um, but yeah, they're, I'm not going to open them just because I already know the scent. I love Pretty as a Peach. I just, I wish Bath and Body Works would keep it in store because I just feel like they discontinue the best stuff all the time. And Pretty as a Peach is definitely one of those scents. It is certainly a peach forward scent with a little bit of floral it is so so good so what i would love to see come back by the way that is actually from this original collection is georgia peach and sweet tea i feel like that's slightly sweeter and more robust as than praise of peach is but it is basically the same fragrance i love it then the last two shower gels i picked up also online and they were discontinued from the stores again it's a great fragrance it was around forever or not forever, but like for a long time. Um, that just went online is Beautiful Day. So it's been an online exclusive for a couple of years, which is really too bad because it's such a good fragrance. The keynotes are Sunkissed Apple Sparkling, Castus Wild, Daisies, Pink Peony, and Fresh Woods. Those are the same keynotes we've had forever. Again, Apple, I think, is fairly similar to Beautiful Day, but Beautiful Day to me is a little bit zingier. There's a little bit more tartness with that green apple. Um, so, yeah, I really love it. So, Beautiful Day is something I could use any time of year, especially in spring and summer, but really whenever. So, cute packaging. Beautiful Day has had several forms of packaging over the years. Um, I wouldn't say that this is my favorite per se, but you know, I think it's fine. So someone had mentioned online that they think that the packaging now for Beautiful Day looks like 
um, something you would see on a brochure for a funeral home just because it has this kind of like headstone looking shape and it has flowers all over it, which kind of cracks me up. Like I probably wouldn't have thought about that if I hadn't seen that comment, but now that I see it, it makes me laugh. So I mean, whatever, but <laughs> I still love it. So the last thing that I picked up is a hair care set. This was from the most recent time that I went to st in stores. I think it was in my store that they had like $14.95 body care, something like that. And uh, hair care is included in body care, by the way, just so you know. I had not seen this in hair care yet. This is the Costa Rica <clears throat> uh, Pink Pineapple Sunrise. The keynotes are sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. This is pretty much the same as the Pink Pineapple Sunrise body care that we get. So I wanted to pick up some more hair care, but I wanted to pick up something other than at the beach. And don't get me wrong, I love at the beach, clearly. But all of my hair care from Bath & Body Works right now is in that sense, so I did want something different. This will be really nice and fun for the summer, so I was happy to pick this up for $4.95 um, each. So together be what? Nine something, nine fifty maybe. So anyway, it's a really good deal. Um, I have normal hair. It's pretty low maintenance. I can't speak for hair that is not low maintenance, but I really enjoy Bath and Body Works' shampoo and conditioner for normal hair. So that is it. Like I said, this was gigantic. It was thirty six products all up. Um, a lot of it was hoarded stuff, but I definitely wanted to share the things that I'm loving, the things that I wish would come back to the store, things that I'm glad came back to the store, and I'm throwing things. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Lifting and Lipstick. I will put that down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.